is going on guys and welcome back to Hungry for Success. In today's episode we are playing against Belarus and Montenegro um, where we continue in the Inter European International League Division C and we have Kerr deciding to sit in front of my light again. Hello Kerr. Okay, down you go. Um, it's not gone well so far. We are after losing both of our first games. Um, I'm not, yeah, 49%. They're deeply concerned about the tactics. What? Why are you? What are you doing? Car, stop. Uh, yeah, whatever. We do have injury issues for uh, for this episode. Um, mainly, Willie Orban was injured and unselectable. Chobot was injured and unselectable. So we have some new players today. Um, Gilaski, well, I, the worst, the most annoying part is Jujic was able to be selected. So obviously there wasn't that many injuries. I've made a slight change and I'm using my Arsenal tactic for my director of football, non to legend, because that's been going well. Um, if you're not watching it, then you sh really should. It's It's a very good, series in my opinion um no don't you go over there right so for the first game against belarus which is a game we're supposed to win um we've galaski in goal uh katona who is going to be making his debut today uh he comes in we like i said we always struggle with uh right backs and left backs so tomas plays today at left back um Kekchis and Guzmix start in the center back positions because as i said uh we don't have the normal Orban playing Nagy and Matavida play in central midfield with Sile and Baloch in the wide positions Savazoli is sitting in the number 10 position behind Rado who's also making his debut um, he's an attacking midfielder who can play up front. He looks a good forward, so I'm going to play him in his natural Trecutista. I don't really play Trecutistas, so this is going to be interesting to see how he gets on. Uh, we've Madagascar, who is sitting on the bench to make his debut. Uh, William, who's a 16-year-old, who looks fairly good. So I've decided to call him up because we are seriously lacking options in midfield. Um, he's naturally, he was born in Brazil, but he is available to play for us. Beke, who is playing for the Hungar or Hungarian, the, he is Hungarian, playing for um, Hamburg's second team. He is on the bench today to make his debut. Roland Becker is a left back playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's on the bench today for his debut, and that is everyone. So this is a game where... If we don't win this, the group is over. We, we're we not going to get the top half like they want us to. And that would not be ideal. Um, we would I, I'd at least want to get, you know, top three. If we lose to Belarus, I don't see this happening, especially since this is the home leg. The players don't seem to carry it. Or, uh, give us the best chance. Like he's the sort of person who wants to play these games. Um, yeah, it's, it's not gone well. Um, Katona on his debut is just kicking people. I am thinking we're going to have, might have to do a, um, no, it's popped up now. Uh, we might have to do a bit of a tactical change because the Arsenal formation I'm using now is fairly similar to the one I was using before. It's not going to make a massive difference to the team. I'm just kind of hoping it makes enough of a difference that we're not shit. We've not done anything really so far. Uh, it does involve playing wider and working the ball into the box rather than playing kind of narrow and then hitting early crosses when the ball is out wide. But um, not much, not much going on. This is frustrating because this is the home leg as well. So this is the one we'd 
if we're going to win either of the two games against Belarus, you'd expect it to be the home one. But I have been toying with the idea of going back to two DMs. And um, I might even try it in the second half. Go two DMs and might just go strikerless and see what does that do. Because it looks like nobody really did anything in that uh, in that half. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm far from pleased. Um, yeah, like Zavazali didn't play all that well. So if I just pop, can you can play a DM, can't you? Madavida, mm, you're alright at that. You're comfortable doing it if needs be. Adam Lang could come on. Like I haven't. Um, set you to Anchorman, and I will make you a roaming playmaker. Yeah, but I'm gonna. I am going to try striker. That's for the second half. Leave him as Trek Batista. Put him as a Shadow Striker. Is there anybody who's been struggling? I have two inside forwards as well. So this is gonna be. It's gonna be fun, hopefully. Um, anyone I want to bring on? Like I do want to bring on William, but. Mm. Yeah, we leave it at that. We go strikerless for a short while. See what difference it makes. If it makes no difference by like the hour, then we'll uh, we'll see about changing things. I don't know, is it just the fact that the players aren't capable of d doing what, I ask, what I'm asking them to do? Yeah. It's not really worked. We haven't really done anything with the ball since. Um, like, fuck it. William. You can come on, you can be, just be a central midfielder. Um... I'm going to take off Rado and bring on Becky. You can make your debut. Why not? I know I saw him in Avatni, but. Um, actually, put Nagy back here. And. Yeah, just be an advanced playmaker. <clears throat> this has been a very, uh, very, very poor. A very poor game. Show some passion. Maggie, Sile, I think this is the first highlight of the second half. Zavazale, William, Bello, yes! William on his international debut at the age of 16 gets an assist. Fantastic. William. Oh, I think that's Norbert Baloch's like first international goal. What since I've been in charge, or maybe it's not. He didn't score there. He scored twice last year. I'm gonna take off Tomas because he's very tired. Roland Becker gets to make his debut. Yay! <laughs> There's a lot of players that I wanted for these two games that weren't available. And it was very, very frustrating. I said get creative. I was going to praise him, but I wanted to stay focused. Because Belarus could very easily... They could have very easily scored, and that would have been less than ideal. What is going on with my... I think the brightness outside has changed because I am milky white. Oh, well done, lads. That was good. What did... Uh, William got a 6.9 with his, for his assist. It's very good. Um, in between the two games, I'm going to... Try and fix 
this issue. I can't believe he actually scored it. That's fantastic. Um, so yeah, we'll jump ahead to the Montenegro game. And I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, fellas, we are back for the Montenegro game, which, as previously stated, must win. Must, must win. Um, because I am hoping we can get second in the group. That's what the board want if we can get second I'm happy with that I no problem seeing this division again for next season we have made a couple of changes from the last game um, I've decided to just start William because why not um, 16 year old did not expect him to be playing this soon as I said born in Brazil when he popped up I was like do you want to declare for Hungary and he was like yeah of course so he's playing for Hungary um, Saloy comes in for Saleh, because that's confusing, and Becke starts up front because uh, who Rado just didn't didn't really do much to be fair. Um, I prefer to just play um, Becke. So <laughs> someone of Atney sitting on the bench is probably like, but boss, I'm here. Yeah, no, I'm much more interested in playing. Youth over you, my friend. Um, I will actually going to play Vida. Wait, Vida is a striker that doesn't get forward. Oh, I come skip deep to get ball, the ball. Yeah, you're going to play as an inside forward on attack, my friend, my friend. So, um, this ooh ooh, the plane. Five midfielders. Ha. Huh. Our passing game. Probably. Why is it saying debut again? He made his debut last time. Um. Yeah. We're basically playing the same team. Bar those couple of changes I told you about. So we have a couple of tired players. The. Uh, eh. This is the last game they'll play for us for like a month or two. I think it's a month and a half to the next games. We will be fine. Um, Jovetic is suspended, which is fantastic for us. Team's itching to get the record, set the record straight. So we do have a fairly good situation where I think two main players for Montenegro are suspended. I know Jovetic is one of them. I can't remember who the other one was. But... Them not having Jovetic is going to make a huge difference. And Vida instantly, within six minutes of playing, proves that he was the right decision to play in this game. Look at that free kick. Petkovic, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Who did you... No, you're not Petkovic I was thinking of. Was it Pet... Or was he Serbian? Oh, no, I think the goalkeeper is thinking of a Serbian. We do have, like, Katona. I do, to be fair, I do ask quite a lot of my wingbacks. And, um... Zabo, Zali! Oh, William again! Oh! <laughs> William is very, very quickly turning into an absolute beast of a midfielder. He, I'm playing him as the deep lane playmaker today. And I think the only thing that really holds him back from being a good deep lane playmaker is his vision isn't the best. But again, 16 years old, okay? 16. He hasn't made his full debut. I don't think he's even played for his club yet. But he is currently smashing it. Smashing it in the Hungry for Success series. If only he wasn't a regen, I'd sign him, well, I'd figure out if I could get my director of football to sign Becky. <gasps> oh, it's not going to be given to him. Oh, Daniel Pekovic with the own goal. What beautiful play this was. Katona, beautiful cross. Becky, it's just unfortunate he couldn't get it in. But keeper puts it in for him. 
Zabazali with the tackle. Oh my god. Kekes to Kulaski. Guzmix. William. With the beautiful pass. Saloy. He hits the post as well. Oh, we, should, we should be winning four. We, we've had two shots on target. <laughs> we've three goals. Yeah, see my full backs. Or my wing backs are absolutely shattered. And I don't have a right back to bring on. Yeah, I'm gonna. I appreciate your efforts. I think that's really unfair for Beckett to have a 6.6. .6. Like. He shouldn't have a 6.6. .6. He should be way higher than that. If I was to take off. Yeah, I don't actually have a right back on the bench. So Katoma might have to, you know, suffer on for a little while. I don't see any reason why I change what we've currently got. Might bring Guzmix off because he is on a yellow card and he is a centre back. So if I was taking anybody off it's going to be Guzmix. What is going on with my green screen? I had it sorted. I think the because it's bright outside. It's causing issues. Yeah I'm gonna give him a cheeky bit of praise, you know, just get the lads happy. And yeah I'm gonna take Guzmix off because I don't want him getting sent off. Um, Saloy has been very quiet in this game, so I'm going to bring on Zhuzhak, who, might I add, is no longer capable of playing as an inside forward. I really want Beke to get that goal. He deserves, he deserves his goal. So he's going to stay on for the whole game. I am going to take Katona off and bring on Lang. I know he's not an actual right back, but you know, uh, Thomas Stewart. No, I don't want to take him off yet. He's also not technically the tiredest player on the pitch. That would be himself or William. I think William's fine because he's just playing as a playmaker, so I can just leave him kind of run around for a short while. He'd be fine. Ten minutes ago, I am going to take off the mask. Bring on, Ro wait, what? Oh, okay. I already made three substitutions. Why didn't anyone tell me? My God, guys, why didn't any of you tell me that I was after making a boo boo? Yeah, three nil. That's fine. It'll move us up to second in the group with two games to go. Yeah, because this is the second time we're playing Montenegro. We only have to play Denmark and Belarus next. And hopefully... Oh, go on, Becca. Please, Becca. Please. Ah! <laughs> Zuzik with the corner. Whips it in. Gaspar. Oh, if he'd scored, that would have been... Icing on the cake, as they say. They're telling me that one of their players is finding too much space. Don't really care. Zuzik, back to Tomas. To William. Zabazari, Becke. Go on, Becke. Just shoot from there. Shoot from there. <laughs> Lang whips it across. It's cleared away. And full time, 3 0 against Montenegro. Why couldn't we do that the first time around? Yeah, I appreciate the efforts. Becky was very unlucky. I 6.4? No. William, man of the match. 16 years old, making his full international debut. Man of the match. That is a fantastic Brazilian playing for Hungary. William, on form. He was fantastic. Like I said, his oh no, his vision's not that bad. What was the his technique isn't great. His anticipation anticipation is a bit shit. 
and off the ball isn't great. He's got me at work rate. But like I said, 16 years old. He's not very fast either. Or strong. But I think he's potential to be a good player. Hence why I've been playing him. Um, Adam Bogdan has been dropped by Ren. So like last season, if he was going to get back into the team, last season was going to be it. He never did. He never will. I got to the point where I tried bringing Gabor Kirali back from international retirement to play in the Euros for us. And uh, he said no. And then retired just after the Euros. So, um, anyway, like I said, that was a very, very, very good episode compared to what we had been suffering in the last, since March, basically. We haven't won a game since March, or since before March. We've had two draws up until the start of this month. But now we come back in November with the chance to quali to finish second or top the group. It'll be difficult. Not impossible. Difficult. Um but if if we do finish top two, the board will be happy with me. That's pretty much all I want. Uh next time, in the next episode, we will be playing Denmark and we will be playing Belarus. Hopefully the Belarus game will be to guarantee that we get second. Um, because I don't think we're going to do the good, the the goodness against Denmark. I'm pretty sure we're going to get beaten by them, but there is a chance the Belarus game will still be the decider for us. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me down below. Let me know down below in the comments how disappointed you were that Becky was given a six point four. After he scored a goal that was given to the goalkeeper as an own goal. I think in that situation, you just give the striker the goal. Because the goalkeeper isn't going to fight and say, Wow, you put a bounce off me. It's frustrating. But um, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe. All, all the things I've already said. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!